mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. I don't know. I don't know. I think the lady doth protest too much. Um, alright. What have we got? I'm sure Sagan's innocent. About you and dogs. Tell me about... Okay, hold on. About you and dogs. What have you got against dogs, anyway? They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves. Oh, yes, frankly, I have. I have checked this. Sorry. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Crockett. Sorry about that. The problem is, I, the last time I recorded an episode was uh, a couple days ago, so I've forgotten a lot of the smaller details. I know I didn't say this. Um, I think, hold on. What was her song? Can we get her to play it again for us? Kid beat the rap. Um, I don't think we actually asked the about kids this. Kids walking around free? Free, clear, and laughing it up in his new speakeasy. The feds want to bring a case up against him, but without those books, they've got nothing. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Yes, actually. Hold on. If it's a Stay Sober Society song, then potentially it would work on... on Parker to get him so that's really optimistic thinking but hold on let's listen let's, let's uh, listen to the sure. lyrics i knew if i waited long enough somebody would request it you say you've lost your self-respect but you should care it's not too late to redirect and start to care don't despise the good and pure time to rise up from the sewer wash off all that foul manure Show the world you care, you should care, you should care, what people think oh of my you. Oh my god, oh my god, no, oh, I'm, just quiet. I'm sorry people, I'm sorry for subjecting you, you to this. To do. You should care, you should care, if no, your reputation no, isn't no, I can't skip it, I can't skip it, let me skip it please. <laughs> Please, you, please let me skip it. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. The song could be good, apart from the fact that you're singing it and you're terrible at singing and you're playing... You're using an accordion for the song. I think you need something more delicate and a little less... Intrusive. Actually, no, no. I've heard accordion songs. They're beautiful when played right. I just don't think you can play the accordion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Obviously, I, I haven't told you to this. It's just all going on in Marty's head. Can I have a copy of your song? Click? Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh... Got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. Oh, you... Okay, wait, you've got a hymnal with the lyrics and everything. That's crazy. That is actually a little bit crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the problem... Okay, I'm thinking that we can we can bring that to the speakeasy. And See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Oh, you know I will. Convince Parker to do his duty. Um, I'm thinking we can bring this to... No, 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 no. I want to take a closer look. Ed, they can't carry a tune, but these lyrics are motivational dynamite. Perfect. I was really hoping you'd say that. I'm thinking we can get Trixie Trotter to, to, to sing them somehow. Either by uh, just straight up giving them to her, or just slipping them into... Um... No, they wouldn't go into the piano music. I guess we could kind of just slip them onto the table and she'll read them and try and memorize them because she was trying to memorize the I don't care lyrics. So to go straight from I don't care to to you should care, it's not that big of a leap and she might not even notice. Welcome back, sir. Oh, I'm glad we didn't have to go through all of that hassle again. Looks like Parker's still parked. parked. <laughs> nice. Ooh, the lift looks like it could be useful. I'll have to check that out in a second, but first, uh, let's give these lyrics straight to Trixie. 
Oh, looks like that's gonna work. Perfect. Hey, Trixie, look over there. Why? <laughs> Didn't you see it? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. Marty McFly's solution to everything. What, what what's the matter, Trixie? Uh, the words mysteriously changed. Um. Okay, so. I think what we need to do now is put on the I Don't Care song. If that makes sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense, because she's been listening to- Well, of course I think it makes sense, but I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. I think it makes sense because- Ooh, it's changed to You Should Care! Because she was memorizing I Don't Care, so if we put on the track for I Don't Care, then she'll go up and start singing the lyrics which she thinks belong to the song. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, cool. Just trying to make sure there are no gaps in my logic anywhere, because I know that happens so often. I need to stop hitting my microphone. She's right. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one <laughs> that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. So now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Okay, hold on. I'm a little shell-shocked. Uh, Betty Lipinski. First of all, that's a really interesting name. I wonder if it's... Lipinski. Lipinski. Is that... I don't know. I want to say Greek. But no. No. I don't think it's Greek. Hmm. Oh well, I guess it's really not that, not that big of a deal. It's gonna be changed to Parker anyway. Um, what do we have left? We need to sort out you, madam. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Oh, yes, we did see Arthur. I happen to see Arthur McFly. Tonight? Uh-huh. How is he? Where's he staying? I didn't manage to find out. If you see him again, tell him I'm looking for him, okay? I could really use his advice in regards to my you-know-what. Ah, damn. I was really hoping that worked. I completely forgot that we needed to we needed to somehow get Einstein off the roof, and I I can't think of the best way to do it. L literally the only thing I can do, or the only thing I can think, is to somehow get Edna and Emmett to flirt with each other again. Actually, no, 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 no. We can actually make them argue. Do the exact opposite. That's perfect. All right, um... All right, let's, uh, let's blow Break this joint. out there. Thanks. Let's blow this joint, and while we're on our way out, we can take a look at that lift. That's not a lift. Those are stairs. What? What? I definitely clicked on the lift. What gives? Fine. Maybe I was just feeling a little bit peckish. What if I just wanted some soup? Ooh, crates. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. <laughs> All this time, and their soup of the day is still cabbage. Monday, cabbage. Tuesday, cabbage. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, cabbage. What's another word for cabbage? Just have l different words for cabbage and soup. Um, okay. If we talk to Emmett and possibly say that Edna said something about him. Like, Edna thinks you're a raving lunatic. And potentially he'll go over and... No, oh, no. This way? Yes. Weird that the game is so picky that... It, it wouldn't bring me over this way. Anyway. Hey, Emmett. Uh, guess what Edna said about you? Any luck with Einstein? I'm still thinking about it. It's a perplexing spatial conundrum, aggravated by Einie's understandable skittishness. Take a break. Uh, find your rocket car. What's with you and Edna? Yeah, let's go with, what with what's with you and Edna. So, you and Edna have been talking a lot? More like debating. Endlessly debating. Ouch. You know what's strange? Edna and I have lived in Hill Valley all our lives, but until you introduced us, I don't think we've ever uh -oh. said two words to each other. Funny, isn't it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Funny. I I don't like where you're going with that. I really don't like where you're going with that. I think the whole protest too much thing might... No, no, I've ruined everything. Marty, you've ruined everything. No, wait, this is Doc's fault. This is not our fault. Sure, I'm going to accept some of the responsibility. But this is Doc's fault. This is both of our faults, okay. I accept the blame. 
I accept that Marty kind of should have keep it, kept his his nose clean and tried to stay out of other people's affairs when trying to break uh, Doc out of jail. But at the same time, it's Doc's fault for traveling here in the first place. Um, all right, I think then we need to talk to Edna well, somehow. I'll go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Aini off that ledge. Unless we can actually call Aini down. If we travel this way... Or we could just go straight into the... It's probably locked. It's locked. I yeah. <laughs> guess I'll have to find some other way to rescue Aini. Oh, of course it was never going to be that simple. Just walk up to the door and try it. That's one of the things that people never try. Like, in any roleplay I've been in, you, you come up across a door to a place you should not be. What's the first thing you do? I either kick it down, lockpick it, break a window, any of the above, but nobody ever tries to see if it's unlocked. Go figure. All right, Edna. Edna? What? Guess what Emmett said about you. Um... What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. To be fair, it's a pretty small town. Well, okay. There's kind of the suburbs area living around it. But this is the town center. This is where everything happens. And if you're on this corner, you can see that corner. You can see this corner. You can see that corner. You can see pretty much anything that's happening here. So I wouldn't be that surprised. Um, what if we give you a story about Emmett? I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Mm, Tannen arrested. Officer Parker reformed. Would-be inventor, uh, Strand's dog on courthouse. That could get things started. Uh, Arthur McFly returns. Carl Sagan spotted in time. No, 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 We need to keep his head down. Um, that's not a big deal for her. That hasn't happened yet. And I don't know if we want to go announcing that just yet. I mean, it would go come up in tomorrow's paper, but then that would kind of blow Parker's cover while he's looking for a scoop or some way to bust Tannen. But I think this is it. I think this could this could be our potential distraction for our older doc to rescue Aini. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. I'm sorry. Mr. Brown. I'm so sorry, Emmett. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run- Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. Oh, no. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present <laughs> danger to Look public safety. Look at the background. represents a clear and present danger to public safety. Your singing voice. Ooh. No need to get personal, That was Mr. harsh, Brown. actually. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars of all the ridiculous <laughs> juvenile you notions. me, but just imagine a world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. I need. I need. How'd you get down? <laughs> Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, <laughs> but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now. How to get that rocket car back down. That was so t that was way too funny. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> flying cars, what a preposterous idea. As one hovers right over them. Oh, way too perfect. Hey, boy. Hey, I just want to stroke him, really. I know hey we've boy, got the pipe for him, but I just want to pet him. Good dog. I want to pet him for the trauma he's been through, and I want to reassure him that he's okay on solid footing. Um, but I don't think we can do that. Let's try that again. Hey boy, how you doing? Good dog. <laughs> All right. Um, the pipe, the that's not gonna get us anywhere, and I'm definitely not giving the chloroform to him. That would basically hinder our game for another evening, and actually probably just ruin our future. Hey boy, take a whiff of this. I'm sorry. I'm still imagining him saying, "Take a whiff of this" with the chloroform yeah, I love bottle. That nose. He is in the cinema. Or the theater, whichever you want to call it. Okay, so we were on the right track. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Doc, I needed him. 
Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Give the dog a treat or something. I know you don't have any treats on you because I can see your entire inventory, but give him a pet. Like, stroke him. Don't just say good boy. Sure, there's got to be more to raising a dog than that. I mean, I, I mean, I know because I have six dogs. Say I have six dogs. I, my parents have six dogs. Like, I can afford six dogs. Um, oh, yes. We go in here and we talk to um, Arthur. Unless... Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Uh, Parker's fixed. That doesn't count as help. Yes, we need to send Artie to Trixie. I was contemplating perhaps we send Trixie to Artie um, because this is a far more private location. Parker's fixed. I actually want to... Ooh. I'm going to click this one first. Should we be worried about your younger self and end of Strickland? That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum. But I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. I don't believe you. The fact that you're saying this, all of this, the, the protesting too much, the kind of, I have no intention of getting personal with you, and that statement, I'm sorry, oh no, oh no, poor Clara, I've ruined everything. Actually, I've just ruined this entire timeline because that's messing with his past, which is messing with our present, or our, our future. Present? F yeah, present. Sorry, space travel, time travel. Confusing. Um, Parker's fixed. Good news, Doc. Parker's ready to arrest Tannen, and it looks like I didn't go stag to the prom. Wonderful. What about Miss Trotter? I'm still working on her. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary- <gasps> Sagan. Uh-oh. Where's Kid? Oh no. Don't worry. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do! Okay, hold on, okay, so he's hanging- Is Trixie on her way? He's hanging out in here. Um... I'm guessing the lift that we spied earlier would be a discreet way up. I say discreet, it's actually a pretty obvious way up. We're, g we're just gonna have to somehow find a way to sneak past everyone. Maybe slip some chloroform into everybody's drinks. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the lo most logical solution. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Well, we've got Artie upstairs. We're so close. We're so close, Marty. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Arthur's waiting outside. Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Artie? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Cover to- Cover for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Well, had a girl. that was easy. Jeez. I forgot that everybody smoked in this time period. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. So what if I was? Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? <laughs> oh. I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. No, no, no. It would be perfect. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! I'm, I'm confused what happened. Was, were those gunshots? Trixie? Break silver cue ball. 